So this guy I was talking to the other day was like, I'm glad you're not like one of those girls with different personalities. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want the best of both worlds? Hey viewers, it's 420 somewhere, uh, Friday, and we have two stories today. We're going to start out in California. Um, we have a story that is not much of one yet, but it could be. There is a bill in the state Senate that has just passed a small committee. Um, it is a bill that would decriminalize psychedelics, which is rather exciting for someone like me. For a while there, it looked like it was going to be in suspense, be put in suspense, meaning basically be filed away. But then it went up for a vote uh, at the last minute and it was voted in favor five to two. And so now what's going on is it's going to go to the full Senate uh, for a vote within the next two weeks, so, so rather soon. I'm not entirely sure how promising it is. From the article that I read, the opponents of the bill are still pretty kind of confident that it won't get passed, just because there's a lot of civilians that I think are still concerned about the idea of psychedelics being decriminalized. And by the way, what this means, decriminalization, is basically legalization. So you will be able to carry a limited amount of psychedelics yourself. There are, of course, the limitations where no one under 21 could have it. But what it would also do, which I think is even more exciting, is that it would expunge the past criminal records of people who have been caught with psychedelics. That would be huge for uh, California. Anyway, I'm, I'm totally unsure if it will actually get past the state senate if we're at that point, or if California needs to get to the point where it just gets on a ballot and people vote for it that way as opposed to doing it through the state senate. But we'll see, and it'll happen very quickly within the, within the next two weeks. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. Next story goes to Colorado, where they have been kind of playing this push and pull game with um, crafting their own version of what the marijuana, what the marijuana, what the marijuana laws should be in the in the state. Just on the same day where the governor signed into law, um, they they doubled the possession limits to two ounces today, I believe. There is also a new bill that's introduced in the state that probably will pass. That is taking a lot of uh, that's adding a lot more regulations to especially especially teenagers who are using medicinal marijuana. So in the past, the the limit, or still now, the, the limit is 40 grams, and this new bill that uh, hasn't been passed yet but has been introduced would bring that from 40 grams down to two grams of THC concentrate. So that's a huge, huge difference and huge limit. A medical card will also be a lot harder for them to get, for teenagers to get. It'll take two physicians to sign off on it at this point, and it'll take, let's see, I have a list of things here. The data issue and effective data in the patient's name and address, physician's name, address, and federal agency number, C level of medical marijuana being recommended, form the daily authorized quantity, and the recommending physician's signature. So a bunch of things that will be required, and that's just that's not just from one source, that's from two sources. Also, it's it's cracking down on advertisements that uh, is being targeted towards kids, which, you know, fair point, definitely. Get, get rid of that. That's crazy that that's a thing. Those will be prohibited, anything that seems to be targeted towards kids, and obviously that's a very vague notion, and whatever that means will be interesting to see how that kind of gets formulated. But again, this is not, this has just been introduced, but probably will pass at some point. So Colorado is in this weird area where it's, it went really, really far one way, and now it's kind of pulling back in some ways and then pushing forward in other ways, like the, like the possession limits. We could definitely be seeing Colorado changing over the next decade, and Maybe in the year 2030, we'll have a much different kind of landscape of marijuana laws in the state. Still, they are in the forefront and they are changing things and they are experimenting with things. And um, it's good to have a state doing that just so we can see and see them lead by example. And that's kind of it today. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's it. So have a great weekend and I hope this was a little bit informative for you guys. See you on Monday. Sipping on bulls in the house of blues. It's the old, old, old.